Help! <laughs> come on! Come on! Yeah, we'll find a way to get lost. So find a way to. Ladies and gentlemen, people of the internet, this is our weekly food shot for day one of the diet. Let's get a quick thumbnail. One of them good? Yeah. I'm good, yeah. Unreal. Right. What's up, guys? Liam here. Welcome back to LSJ TV. We are going to go through, uh, well, we've actually just been to Aldi. It was debate between Aldi and Lidl, you know? Aldi was the closest, so we went to Aldi. Um, people are gonna have their opinions about what we picked up for this. You need more fish. There's no fish here. Sorry, if you're a fish lover, see you later, next video. Appreciate it, drop a like before you leave. But, this is what we fancy, this is the food that we enjoy, that is healthy, with some nice little bits in there, you know, some nice little treats in there. So without further ado, this is in no order whatsoever, all of this, Challenge numero uno. Stick your guess in the comment section down below. This peninsula full of stuff. How much did it cost? You let me know. I'll tell you at the end, but like, you let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know your thoughts. And if you do guess right, or we get the closest guess, if we get enough guesses to actually warrant it being a competition, then the winner who gets the closest to the amount that it is, I will know if you skipped ahead. The winner who guesses, will win an entry into the monthly giveaway draw. So, we've got the usual. Stuff like this is included, washing powder, bleach, um, what else does it really matter? Oh, we've got some like a, a pack of nine toilet rolls as well. So all of that is, is kind of factored into this price. The fact that we've got some weird stuff that we wouldn't normally get like coriander and you know, like parsley and stuff like that. Um, Guess why? All of those kinds of things are included. We also got a four pack of Monster. Um, so slightly more expensive things than what would go into your average weekly shop. Not gonna be buying a tub of washing powder every single week, not gonna be buying toilet roll every single week. Um, but bearing in mind um, everything that we have on, on here, I still think we've got a pretty good deal. So in no particular order, ladies and gentlemen, I will start from this side where I just was, because this is where the interesting stuff is. We'll start off with the meats. 5% lean beef mince, 750 grams worth. We're gonna make a big fat chili out of this. Probably have a couple of meals each, uh, because this is for the two of us, this is for myself and Ella for the week. Uh, we've also got one kilogram of chicken breast. If you don't wanna get it from a supermarket, you can get it from, from someone like Muscle Food or something like that. That, to be honest, is what I used to do, but I haven't ordered from them for quite some time now. Um, I tend to just kind of top myself up, and I need to get back into a bit more of a, a routine with, with buying weekly shots when it comes to doing the diet because one, money, two, healthier, you know? Like you can have fast food and you can have stuff like Nando's, it's just chicken and rice. It's just the foods that you do select from those places that you kind of need to adjust slightly, you know? So, next up we have two rump steaks. This will go with uh, some asparagus, which is along here somewhere, uh, and some rice or some chips or something like that. Um, how much, how heavy are these? So two steaks, 454 grams, so about 250, uh, 225 grams per steak. A good amount of meat there, I thought, and I think it was like four quid for, for the two of them, so I was pretty uh, I was pretty chuffed with that. To go with all of these meats, we have some sauces, uh, chili sauces, we've got some tomatoes, chili, uh, not chili, what's it called? Um, what are these called? Kidney beans. Kidney beans, red kidney beans, in a chili sauce as well, so it's kind of like destined to go in the meal, you know? Wouldn't you agree? Next up we have some eggs, 12 free range eggs, whether these are free range or barn, I don't know, but the packaging says free range, so if they're not free range, I'm gonna have a complaint. I'm gonna email over a complaint to the head office of Audi and say, excuse me, these taste like barn eggs, not free range eggs. There's gonna be so many people that don't understand that joke, but I'm gonna put it in the, in the video anyway. Next up, uh, we have some nighttime treats. Uh, we've got some salted caramel ice cream. Uh, this is 300, well, 325 calories per tub. 
Um, I shouldn't imagine we'll have the whole tub, we might do, but even if we do, it's only like 150, 170 calories max each if we split this 50-50. Uh, so it's a nice little treat that's really not that bad for you, and it's high in protein, so you know. Uh, along with that, we've got some fake Faust because it's from Lidl. Uh, amount per lolly is 57. Howdy. Oh yeah, Audi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get them mixed up. Let me know in the comments. Does everyone get those mixed up? I every single time get them mixed up. But anyway, a mountain per lolly is 57 calories, so you can have one of them. And it's if that's breaking your diet, then you know we're not trying to be Mr. Olympia for God's sake. Just have a fab, relax. You know. Speaking of which, we did get a couple of treats. Yeah, yeah, that's it. We've got some buttons. Uh, these, we actually had these a few weeks ago, didn't we? They were really mm. nice. Um, and some giant strawberries, which are Ella's favourite, aren't they? Yep. Um, so we're going to have those uh, and those across the week as well. We've got some pistachios because nuts are fine within reason. Uh, on which note, we also have some fruit and nut mix. Um, and just a few other bits, like a few bars and stuff like that, that for like 60, 80, 100 calories max. Like, if you're going to have something like this, it's going to satisfy your sweet tooth, your sweet craving. Um, is it going to get you on the Mr. Olympia stage? No. Are we trying to get on the Mr. Olympia stage? No, we're just trying to lose a little bit of weight and just feel a little bit better about ourselves. It's as simple as that, really. So, leave your opinions to yourself, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. I am a prime athlete. I'm an athlete in his prime. This that you see right here before you, ladies and gentlemen, this is peak performance. This is contracted athlete status. You have to really look like a Greek god to achieve that, you know? So, I'm just saying. On top of that, we've got packets of popcorn. Uh, we have enjoyed watching some Money Heist as of late, um, so we've been having popcorn with that. Popcorn is really not that bad for you anyway. Again, other people might tell you otherwise, but I really enjoy popcorn. So does Ella. We're gonna have a bag of popcorn. And we've got some pop chips as well, because those within reason, again, are just fine. People are going to be watching this. <laughs> what the hell? This is just the sweet treat stuff in the middle, you know? It's not like we're going to be eating this all in one go. We're going to have like this spread across the, the entire week. So one of my favorite meals I do like to make when I'm cutting, and if you've been following me for a while, you will know what this meal is. Um, it is a chicken and avocado and red onion and rice and a bit of spinach kind of like mixed into one, right? Just comes into this beautifully tasty, luscious, kind of mushy, topped with salsa goodness. Like, it's really freaking good and it's really not that bad. You can have like a massive, massive bowl of food for like 400 calories. And you still get like 30, 40 grams of protein. It depends on how much chicken you put in it, obviously. But like, I'll show you guys that on a channel in the in the, in the near future. And basically, um, I don't know why I don't cook it more often because it's really good for you. Like, what's well, by good for you, it just means there's plenty of good stuff in it, you know? You got avocado, healthy fats, you got your spinach in there for your micros, all that shite. Like, chicken in there for your protein. It's a good meal. I just tend to not make it. It's a bit of a faff, to be honest, but I'll be making it on the channel very soon. We've got some reduced fat, soft cheese. Um, this is, I don't think I'll have any of this. I think this, I think you'll have this, won't you, babe? With these bagels as well, um, I am a lover of a fried egg with some bagel. With, with some bagel? With a bagel. Uh, first thing in the morning uh, when I wake up, because that is something that Again, if you guys have been following the channel for a while, you know that it's something that I need to work on. It's just getting up and actually eating because I, I would just kind of get into the habit of getting up and working, sitting on my laptop and all of a sudden it's like 12, 1 o'clock and I'm like, shit, I've got to go to the gym. I'm like, shit, I've got to go to this shoot or whatever. And I don't eat. And then it gets like 3 o'clock in the afternoon and I haven't eaten anything and that's just not good. I start getting up and having like a clear way um, with my breakfast or something like that. And uh, you guys also know that I do love a little bit of orange juice with my breakfast. So moving back over to this side, we've got some apple juice and we've got some orange juice. All fine within reason. 250 ml in the morning and you've got like 100, 150 calories max um, of a nice sweet drink to go with your, your breakfast. I personally always try and fit that into my macros, you know? So next up we've got some extra things to go with these meals. We've got some onions, uh, we've got some red onions. Here's the uh, avocado, we've got some asparagus baby corn, uh, onto some more stuff now like spinach, bananas, apples, uh, strawberries, and we're getting there, ladies and gentlemen. The one thing that I do want to draw some attention to is this. Now, if you've ever been to Audi, I've got, I got so fat eating these at uni. I, I literally would eat these rosemary savory crackers hung over with the tub of butter. Right, let me get my butter. So I would have my butter 
I can't reach my book to what? it's behind a bunch of stuff. I would literally sit there at uni. But bearing in mind I did a lot of my shopping at, at uni at Audi because one it was the nearest thing and two it was really cheap. So I had these rosemary savory crackers by the bucket load because I used to sit there, imagine this is my butter, I would just sit there like your butter's sideways, like that kind of shaped up, right? I would just sit there, get this cracker, which is only 25 calories per one, you know. So you can have like four of them and it's like 100 calories and it's just a nice little, you know. I like to have lots of different options for, a, I would only have like one of these things that I've mentioned in all of this each day, but like it's nice to have the option of which one you have, you know. So I'll just drag this cracker along the butter and eat the cracker, half of it, and then drag the second half along again and eat it. I'm well proud for those mouth clothes, don't worry. What happened when I'm eating? Cucumber! We got cucumber. I'm gonna have some of that because cucumber is better. Let me finish my mouth, but I'm being rude. Two hours later. <laughs> so moving on to the carbs, last but not least, we have some potatoes. Um, we're actually gonna make some like homemade chips, fries, slash wedge type things, I don't freaking know. Whatever shape we decide to cut them on whatever meal we have them with. We'll probably have one with some chicken and one with the steaks, which we'll probably wind up having tomorrow. Um, stay tuned on my Instagram to see that, because I'm sure if I cook the steak good, I will post a picture slash boomerang of our steaks. To wrap this up, we have some packet rice. It is like 30, 30 p a bag. Um, you guys know how much I love packet rice. I'm all about convenience. I don't have a rice cooker. I hate cooking rice. 30p for a bag of rice and it will do me nicely. So we've got a few of those which will last us to spread across the week. We'll probably have some of them tonight with the chili that we're gonna have. Uh, and one thing I haven't mentioned is these rice cakes. Per rice cake, 29 calories, 5.5 grams of carbs, 0.5 grams of sugar, and a whopping 0.8 protein. That, ladies and gentlemen, is what we're gonna have for lunch and dinner and breakfast. That's what we're gonna have to eat this week. I hope you have enjoyed this little segment of the video. If you would like to see an actual shop, me walking around the shop, picking up some stuff, let me know in the comment section down below. Drop the video a like if you have not already. Are you hungry? Yep. Absolutely. So Let's eat. that when you record I do I cock up on what I say and I clap mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. 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 how nice was the chili on a scale of 1 to 10 really good it was really good wasn't it it was really 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 good and now because we're eating healthily we are shredded AF and might just go back into a bulk straight away you know but anyway that's the weekly shop Went down a treat, chicken, steak, you know. Let us know what you want to see next, whether it's a grocery shop, whether it is more training stuff, which will be coming soon. Next next video you see will be uh, supplement related. Then we've got like training stuff uh, and some other stuff in the, in the works as well. So, if you have enjoyed this one, like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you all for watching. Let me know what you get in your weekly shop in the comments below. What would you add to the shop? What would you take away from the shop? Let me know. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.